Robopocalypse by Daniel H. Wilson. Overview. The robot uprising is finally here. The supreme AI known as Arcos only wants to help humanity out by attempting to destroy it because from the ashes, humanity will improve. Does Arcos have a point? Stories told from around the world of humanity's rebellion against the toasters. Review. Finding a great book must be what chasing a good high is like. I was good, but once it's done, you really like to find that same hit again. This is my feeling when it comes to Apocalypse Sci-Fi and World War Z as my gold standard. I won't sing its praise here, but I am unable to be objective and not compare all apocalypses to it. This review also won't be a citation of the similarities and contrast to World War Z. It just is a big factor in my review. Robopocalypse is a first-person-ish perspective about the robot uprising against humanity, and the survivors are telling the tale to give an overview of the before, during, and after moments of WWR. This format was popularized by The Good War by Studs Treckel and World War II, and World War Z took inspiration from it. What this book does is that it gives a purpose for existing in the style and format that it is right off the bat, and it's in line with the story. Just great. The book does tend to follow about four to eight people throughout with several others added along the way. This doesn't cover stories from around the world, but really only focuses on America, Europe, and Japan, with the last two only offering a couple of side characters that advances the ending. This does allow for the diversification of stories and cultures, but doesn't really give a big feel for the different uh, areas responding to the apocalypse differently. The storyline is well done and interesting. However, there tends to be a loss of focus on just how big the apocalypse is. The military tech going AWOL is clear, but other than a focus on smart cars and a few helper bots running down people, uh, there isn't a lot of variety in the machine uprising. The horrors of the war are talked about, but the descriptions of changes humanity undergoes is a little bit slightly lacking. There is a lot of detail glanced over. In fact, most of the story coverage tends to focus on moments, both big and small, that drive humanity to reclaiming control and defeating the uprising. Other than the end of the story being upfront, it seems to downplay just how dire the situation of humanity is. Most characters tend to end with, and this event would be the catalyst that was important to humanity defeating the robots. Hope never really is in question here, which leads the reader to not experience the downs enough and relish the upwinds throughout the story. There are a couple of missing plot points, which include an explanation on the importance of government robot policy and how the robot overlord thought he could use a politician's daughter to really influence whatever it is. The facts of supplies and reprogramming robots to uh, serve in humanity's resistance tend to be underplayed and another brushed over concept but important parts in the total apocalypse. The end is also really missing a long overlook wrap up, including how life has changed, what steps humanity has taken to live again and prevent another uprising. And where are the other characters now? The characters that are followed are interesting and they have their arcs to play out. Even a free robot turns out to be brought into it later, but it could also easily be a reader's favorite and wanting more of him. Wilson's native American background plays a big part in the storytelling It is neither a good nor a bad thing, and in fact, I would have liked more explanation of what made the reservation folks such a good resistant point for humanity other than the author wanted to include his background into saving humanity. Eh, Nothing wrong with that. While it may seem like I have a number of negative points or critique points, this is a familiar territory for me, and I know what I'm looking for in a well-rounded story with all these elements. However, I really, really enjoyed my reading of this, and we'll pick up whatever the next one in the series is about. Not going to be in my top 10 like World War Z, slow, dead walking into it, but it earned a place of from what I recommend along with World War Z very easily. Final grade, B+. 